Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of our Seed Showcase series. Today's Seed is a little bit more of a simplified starter survival Seed, where we have easy access to diamonds, some villages at the spawn point, and a desert temple. So let's jump right into this then, shall we? First of all, the spawn point is right underneath me here on this sort of cross between a plains and a desert. You can see where the wooden platform is down there. So we're going to take a quick look at some of the things in this world and we'll quickly fly over here to the desert temple and take a quick look at what it generated for me. You could probably hear the fan of the Xbox in the background there and I do apologize for that. So inside here we've got a thorns one book and a golden apple, three diamonds in here, a golden horse armor and some diamond and iron horse armor in there as well. Keep an eye on the diamond count because it's going to pick up quite quickly as we head back over here. Most of it is going to come from this massive lava sized cave ravine that we have going on here right outside of the village. And uh, we'll get to that in just a second but first of all we have not one but two local villages to the spawn point which gives you easy access to beds, food and all the good stuff like that. Obviously there's going to be animals and uh, the villagers to trade with as well. I'm just going to show you the second one over here nice and quickly. You can see it's this is a much this is a much prettier one I think because the fact that it spawns on on the savanna cliff here and obviously you can see behind it you've got a swamp biome there as well and you obviously you can make some nice spiral stairs and things like that mapping your way up to these different platforms that you have going here in front of you again more food more houses to look at so let's go and take a look at the diamond count in this ravine because it will get you off to the very quick start that everybody likes to have and it will make you feel more comfortable. So the ravine is split in two. Um, you've got this sort of river running through it. It actually blocks it off completely. And uh, as I was trying to dig between the two of them, I started down in this one. I sort of stumbled my way across a diamond vein in the wall right here. So if you can see my positioning where I am right here, you can see there is a diamond vein right down here like so. That's a vein of five there, not too shabby. You can also see that I attempted to dig through as well in this area over here as well. There's two ways you can get across to it, either that or just jump down the ravine itself. Now right next to this water flow in the corner by the ravine, there's another set of five diamonds in the corner right here. So that brings our total up to 13, including what we had in the desert temple. And then there's another vein right here, as you can see, that one is another 6, taking us to 19. And then I'm pretty sure there's another vein over here as well. Uh, it's on this side down here. We fly all the way up. You can see it right here. There's another 3 right there. So that takes your total up to 22 diamonds within probably the first 5 minutes of farming. Grab yourself some food, jump down, do a bit of caving, and then suddenly you've got yourself some mid-level gear and you're ready to almost already make nether portals and jump into the nether and take on things like that. But I hope you've all enjoyed. The seed will be listed in the description as always. And if you want me to go and look for certain seeds that you guys would like me to find, leave them in the comments as well. And I will keep an eye out for them whilst I'm surfing around for other interesting seeds I think you guys guys might like. But thank you very much for watching. I hope you've all enjoyed and I guess I will see you all again in the next one. Bye bye.